Hello friends, now that I'm no longer talking into a muted microphone, perhaps it's time to begin. It's uh, been a little while since I streamed due to terrible, 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 awful, painful, horrible things happening to my face and or mouth. And uh, my teeth are all st still janked up max times sideways, so... Uh, but the pain's manageable at the, this week, so hopefully I'm going to be streaming this week back to normal, back to schedule. I might change my schedule at some point, but that's besides the point. Um, yeah, so... <clears throat> Oh, by the way, also, if you're watching this for the... Actually, let's say that later, because that's going to be more important at another point. Let's just jump into video game. Because everyone loves video game. Select a file. Uh, God, how do I even remember how to play this game? See, I don't even understand the term butt rock. I've never been clear on what the difference between butt rock, dad rock, and just like generic rock are. Like generic 90s and 00s type rock. I'm Tails. We were so close to catching that Eggman, but the tornado was shot down. I got separated. Why am I doing a character voice? I got separated from Sonic. I guess it's time to unveil my new invention, but first I need a Chaos Emerald to get it to run, and I'm off to find one. So, yes. Oh, that's right. There was a weird flashback. See what I can even remember about this game and playing it. See, I spent the week um, playing Sekiro Shadows Die Twice in order to switch my brain off so that I don't have to feel pain. <laughs> I love the animation in this. they grow up in the forest? I still struggle with the connection between the um, apparent shared canonicity of the old 2D Sonic games and this uh, seeming, but apparently not, reboot. Why are, why are the people of the animal people side of the planet now on the human people side of the planet? Did they live in the forest? All these mysteries and more cannot be discovered. The answer to that's not a good mm, sentence wow, in the English that language. Green brought back memories. I owe so much to Sonic. Sonic. The fact that it's very clearly an actual small child who's voicing Tails always makes me wonder. Hmm. Wonder where he went. Sure, hope he's all right. The tornado's not powerful enough. Oh, it makes me wonder how the. I'm get that egg carrier, Stop interrupting I need to me, child. My prototype. It needs a chaos emerald to work. It's nice that they have these like. like You've got to be kidding me. Fast. Are we good now? Okay. Uh, it's really amusing to me that um, this is very clearly a small child's voice. So I always wonder if there was like some kind of casting call system going on for that, like. Did this kid win a competition? Because that's exactly the kind of thing you might expect to see in, like... Well, not Nintendo Power, obviously, but, you know, some kind of big games magazine or something. Circa 2001. What? You're kidding! That's... You've got to be kidding me. I, for years, thought for sure that Tails is VA in this one in these 3D games was like a for realsies actual child. His voice is so slow and sleepy in exactly the way a child's voice is. Is that intentional or is she a bad voice actor? Or is there no meaningful difference between that provided the effect is the one that's desired? Did someone genuinely tell a voice actor this character is eight years old and they chose to make the character sound eight years old? Because that's rare. Oh shit, Froggy. Hey, wait up. Stop! The big cat boy keeps talking about Froggy. Perhaps the plot threads are coming together. It's all starting to bleed into it into itself. Wow, where the fuck did that frog go? Anyway, it's all coming together. All the threads. The incredibly carefully laid 
carefully woven elements of the tapestry are at last beginning to... Huh, that's concerning. You don't often see the earth drain away like uh, water down a plug hole. Now why the fuck is there a rattling drumming noise in my room? That's the real question. What? Sandboarding the wrong way up? Certainly not. It's nice to see that the snowboarding mechanics get to come back a couple of times. But I don't remember what I was talking about. I think I was complaining about something. Okay, so there's giant ancient rock monsters as well. I do love a bit of a kitchen sink setting, but I still think that there should not be both animal people and like a human New York in the same in the same world. That just it rubs me up the wrong way in exactly the same way it rubs people up the wrong way to play the recent uh, 3D Super Mario, you know, the um Galaxy Super Mario? No, that's old. Super Mario Odyssey. Aha! You think the Odyssey is even older, but apparently not. Um when are we going to get the whole Super Mario in it? That's what I want to know. When are we going to see, you know, the corpse of... <laughs> the, who's Hector in? Um, in the context of Super Mario. Toad, I suppose? When are we going to see the corpse of Toad dragged up and down by a chariot outside the walls of... Uh, yeah! Outside the walls of Toadstool Castle. If you guys can hear a drilling noise, that is the busted radiator behind me, which is currently toasting my back, despite the fact I only just turned it very slightly on. So if you'll give me one second. Uh-oh. I thought I was in a desert. I wonder where I am. Alright, I think that problem's solved. Uh, well, I wasn't watching that cutscene. Do Tails go back the fuck in time? Because this looks back the fuck in time to the age of a genocide that happened. I thought it was dark enough that uh, this this children's funny animal cartoon game had a genocide in it. I'm a little bit surprised by the idea that not only does this cartoon animal children's game have a genocide, it also seems to intentionally bring the youngest, most innocent and naive character to go have a look. On the other hand, that's a pretty snazzy upgrade. You found the rhythm badge. To do continuous tail attacks, hold the action button down. Well, you know what they say. Rhythm. You got it or you don't. That's the... Motherfucker, I used to know the lyrics to that. My COVID brain damage goes deeper than I thought if I'm forgetting classic Gorillaz lyrics. Are you kidding me? I used to be able to belt it out like Damon Albarn. Uh... the fuck was I talking about? Oh yeah, so... I guess the uh, the plot threads are all starting to come together now. Chaos Emeralds. The servers? Hello there, friend. How are you? Um, what were you saying before? Huh? It's something my grandmother taught me. This is a character we saw very I briefly in the genocide it flashback. Like this. The servers are the seven chaos. Chaos is power. Power enriched by the heart. The controller is the one that unifies the chaos. But I'm still not sure what it all means. Is this meta humor? Talking about the servers and controllers? But the number seven... is the same as the number of emeralds there are. Emeralds? Forgive me, but I don't think we've ever met before. I'm to call. And you are? Yeah, time travel's a trip. Wait, that's it? Well, at least I was right about the th plot threads coming together. As is only appropriate in such a carefully Whoa. woven tapestry as this. Yikes! Animated by an 11 year old with poser. Oh, Dreamcast, you truly were trying to punch above your weight. Weird. Now where was I? Oh yeah, 
The Chaos Emerald! Perfect! Was that whole entire giant area just there for that one cutscene? This will get my tornado two up and ram to go! I thought there was going to be characters to talk to and a whole area to explore. I didn't even mean to talk to that character. I just bumped into her accidentally and she jammed the future back into my head. I wanted to talk to the other echidnas, I wasn't given the choice. This new plane should work a lot better. I've ironed out most of the problems. So, here it goes. How the fuck is that an adult actress? There's no there's no way in hell. Even the even the the gentle speech impediment that like a seven year old has where their mouth won't move properly is replicated. There's no way, you've got to be shitting me. Oh he has a secret hyperspace hanger as well. Tornado two! Clear for takeoff! Away we go! God forbid you call it another name, you know. You could that could be the tornado and the typhoon and the tsunami, but no, it's all tornado. Tornadoes zero, one and two, I guess. Oh hi Sonic. I see you're at the end of your own plotline. All right, Tails. Way to go. This plane's cool. Oh hi. Thank you for the follow, whoever that was. I think I'm going to need to pause this in a second because I keep hearing a, a stuck noise that I think means I'm getting messages from someone on one of the like 15 apps that make message noises. Because I hate living in the future, you know. Why can't we just go back to having IRC for everything? It was so much simpler. Um, anyway, I really appreciate... Ah, there we go. That's exactly what I needed. I really appreciate having a uh, a lovely additional follower because that does mean... Uh, but the downside of that is, of course, that we have moved from... We, we, I'm no longer at 69, you know? Terrible. Anyway, give me two seconds to try and figure out what's making message noises and stop it. Okay, okay, well I have slaughtered a couple of potential culprits, so let's dive straight back into the game rather than me getting endlessly distracted by trying to find the sources of strange noises my computer is making. And hi, glad to have you here. Uh, I don't know if we'll see Amy, I don't know if she shows up in uh, this storyline, because as some of my viewers know, I've never played this game before. I played the sequel a lot when I was a kid, but um, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, so I, I know I know plenty about Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, I know very little about Sonic Adventure. Um, I've unlocked a Amy's storyline, but I don't know if she shows up in Tails' storyline. Um, so, when I'm done with Tails' storyline, we'll probably see her again at some point. I promise I'm not actually terrible at shmups. Uh, I'm just not very good at this one. Although it does always make me want to go, pl go play Lilac, uh, <laughs> Lilac Wars. Which my dad inexplicably could only ever hear as the phrase Lilac Walls, which I won't say it doesn't sound like the name of a game, but it does sound like a very different game to the one it is. Because uh, I could easily see a I could easily see an indie PC game or some kind of you know terrible David Cage uh, philosopher philosophizing, you know gazing up his own asshole kind of vibe for a game called Lilac Walls. Ha ha! So far so good! Oh 
hope you know what you're doing. You bet! Watch this! Transforming now! Whoa! It's curious playing through a game when you already know everything that's going to happen, simply because they chose to have this bizarre Rashomon style style structure for it. I'm also still not clear on whether that transformation actually changed anything. I think it might be exactly the same. It just looks cooler. Like a tropical fish, almost. I can't remember what I was saying. I was talking about- oh, well, yeah, no. I do- I love the- the, uh... What's the word? The ambition. I love the ambition of attempting to do this uh, six storylines story where you get to see the same events from different perspectives, but it does uh, it does cut away some... Actually, I think his rate of fire might be faster now. Um, it does cut away some of the, the drama to know what's going to happen. On the other hand, seeing pe different people's perspectives on what a character may or may not say, I have no idea if it's just, like, bad writing or if it's good writing, as the characters say, wait, hang on, what missiles? I've pressed every button and the only one that does shooting is this one. Yeah, holding B didn't do anything. Oh, aha, okay. Well, that's a whole ass mechanic in this in this level that I didn't know was a mechanic and nobody told me about until now, even though I played this uh, from the other side of Sonic a couple streams ago. So that's really on you guys, not on me. Also, I think you'll find that's kind of more of a laser. It's okay, I know you have a lot on your mind. I've actually never played any of the later 3D Sonic games. I've never played uh, Unleashed or, or any of the other ones of that kind of era. A friend of mine swears by Sonic Heroes, but I, uh, I never got that one. Yeah, I mean, I can see that you need, a, need the lock-on shots to get a good score. That's definitely evidenced by the fact that I have terrible scores in every level. I've got a C rank in every single mission we've done so far. We gotta land on the egg carrier. Oops. We got a problem here. What now? I forgot to put in the landing gear. Whoa! Oh, Tails, you poor fool. Your hubris exceeds your capacities once again. Wow! I suppose it wouldn't be hubris really if it didn't exceed his capacities. No time to gox on it. We gotta find Amy! You're right, pal. Let's get busy. Wow, Tails, you're so assertive suddenly. You were such a nebbish dweeb earlier. So I know what Sonic was doing the rest of this time, but what was Tails doing? Because we did not see him at all in Sonic's side of this mission. It was just Sonic, don't Sonic, Sonic. Idea, Sonic. You have no idea what this vessel can do. How about I give you a little sample? <laughs> Eggman's like, don't get any ideas, Sonic. And Tails is just like, I'm here as well, but okay. Whoa! Hey, it transformed! Did you see that? <laughs> oh, are you still here? Now, how are we gonna get to the bridge? <laughs> I hate it when he doesn't listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's canonical! I'm not even... I'm... I have correctly identified a theme. I am not, in fact, making fun. I doubt if you can make it. I dare you. Just watch me. Bring it on, Eggman. It's interesting to see that by this point, Eggman has caught on even in uh, even in Tails' lexicon, since Tails recognized him as, you know, a the guy who's been fucking with them for about three years at this point, and b, uh. You know, notable, notable scientist on the global scale. Because all scientists know each other. This is just a fundamental truth of 
Uh, most pop cultural fiction. All scientists are friends and they all know where each other live and so on. Any scientist can find any other scientist and usually knows what they're working on in their secret labs. What is this even here for? This must be part of someone else's fight, I assume. Or is this the boss fight maybe later? I forget. The way the spaces are reused so, and tangled are weird. Deck, huh? Oh, is that it? Okay. I suppose, again, it does actually on, fit Tails. the themes that Tails is fundamentally and always chasing after Sonic. You made it. All he wants is recognition for his own capacities, dammit. See you later, Tails. I don't actually know what Sonic Heroes is about, incidentally. I know that um, a friend of mine who has a capture card decided to start doing Let's Plays and pick that for her first Let's Play, and then gave up quite quickly, if I remember correctly, which is a shame, but it's a t difficult thing to do. As evidenced by the 200 or so high quality videos on my on my YouTube channel, where I eternally churn out Let's Plays until the last few months where I got sick and haven't been able to. That's a hint for anyone watching who doesn't already know that I have a YouTube channel where I do high quality in-depth let's plays where I do like critical evaluations and fall down holes a lot. Come on, Tails. All right, Tails. I do struggle with the platform stages. It's weird. You know, I'll be playing Sekiro and I'll be first trying some of the toughest bosses in the game and then I'll come and play this and I'll just die constantly. <laughs> Mind you, it is famously one of the most glitchy games, uh... One of the most glitchy games that is available and had a high budget and wasn't some kind of strange indie, te indie attempt or indeed tax dodge, as some have been. And I'm saying that as someone who likes these games, I like how janky and buggy they are and how often I clip into walls and fall down holes and... generally explode in various different ways. I suppose Tails does have an advantage over Sonic with regards to this stage in particular by being able to just literally fucking fly. Television, show me what I need to do. Don't let the blue hedgehog- yeah, always the blue hedgehog. Hey, hey, hey. Nobody cares about the orange fox, huh? Hey, Tails. Where the fuck am I even supposed to go? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Oh, okay, Sonic's coming this way, so I should probably go this way. Well, that seems promising. I do know that years before I ever found out what speedrunning was, or even that speedrunning existed, my brothers and I would try and break the levels towards the end of uh, Sonic Adventure 2, or specifically Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, which is the version I had on my game, on my Nintendo GameCube, because nobody bought a Dreamcast for fairly obvious reasons. Just, you know, banging those nails straight into the coffin of Sega as a, uh, you know, major, major alternative to the monopolies that are slowly forming now in the modern day. Not that it makes much of a difference whether you have four companies or three, but it's besides the point. I suppose Tails does come into his own by the sequel, because he does stop attempting to chase yeah, Sonic and do Sonic that? things, and he, he commits to what he's good at, and he becomes a super scientist who makes well, uh, war, war material. Just for him, but yeah. it's, you know, what it is. is that it? Sonic, I'm being facetious. Check out the bridge. As evidenced by my uh, streams on the way through these levels as Sonic. Sonic needs to be told exactly what to do at every point or he will be just fundamentally unable to function. Now see this confuses me. Is this a cultural... I really want to know, genuinely. Is this... Is this... a cultural reference that I'm simply not getting? The... E Hang on, how do you spell Eggman? E... G... G... M... A... A... N... 
I have about a nine-year-old's capacity to spell, think, and write, so, you know, it's all fair. Alright, well then, enlighten us, oh, uh, oh Sonic Noah. What is the, um, what is the basis of the joke? Because I do enjoy pointing at things and saying, I can tell that's a joke I'm not getting because I don't have the cultural reference, but I do also enjoy finding out what those cultural references are. God, I wish I had a tiny island with a robot house on it. Is this a teleporter or a pocket dimension? What fascinating questions this game makes us ask. And also, what the fuck happened to my chows? Where did they go? Aha, there you are, you little bastard. Put this on. There you go. It's a hat. We wear it on our heads. No, on our heads. Oh, okay, fair enough. I suppose the anvil thing wouldn't necessarily make much sense to, a, to an outsider. I wonder if anvils are just different... They must be different shapes in different places, right? Different parts of the world must have different kinds of anvil. But there's no reason for the iconic kind of European anvil to be the shape that all anvils are. I mean, they need they need certain elements. You need a flat surface and a big heavy thing and a curvy bit, but if you've got those, it's probably fine, whatever other shape it is. Now, I'm assuming that I will find out what is in these doors when I do Amy's side of the story, since she's got a hammer and there's little hammery things here. But that is totally an assumption. And you know what they say about when you make an assumption? You're making an ass out of you and umption. Hot shelter. The hot shelter. Welcome to the hot shelter. Where only the greatest musical acts. And I don't actually know what strip club announcements sound like, so I have no capacity to parry them. Parody them. Ah, so Amy is here. Oh, that's right. She had that fucking flicky. Bird visibly had a blue gem around- oh, green gem, and it's the... Huh, am I gonna fight this as Tails? Because Sonic just kicked the shit out of it. Get rid of these oh, he's got cool wheels on his Get ankles. I wish I had cool wheels on my ankles. Aye, aye, Master Robot Nick. I'll leave it up to you, Gamma. You know, speaking robot to robot, I just really admire that design element. I mean, you say that. Okay, I can see why. I can see how this power can be abused. <laughs> Get wrecked. This is like my fight with Genichiro and Sekiro the other day. Right, robots are our friends. Please don't hurt them. Okay, if you say so, you have your reasons, I guess. <laughs> the instant trust of an eight-year-old. Delightful. Hey, this ship is losing altitude. Hurry, Tails. Take Amy and get out of here. Well, what about you? I'll find Eggman and put a stop to his evil ways. Sonic boldly announcing that he's going to actually kill Eggman for realsies this time. Don't worry, Tails. I'll make sure that Eggman never kills anyone ever again. Wait, hang on. I phrased that wrong. 
It's hard to make jokes when you've got like 10 things wrong with your brain. Oh, what a lovely skybox though. That's genuinely delightful. I wonder if I could extract that file in some way and use it for my vaporwave art. Yeah, that flicky has a green gem, but the one Eggman got out of it was blue. The hell is Eggman doing here? So I guess Tails gets Sonic's uh, sloppy seconds of a final boss, or and other terrible phrases I could say. That's Eggman. I wonder what happened to Sonic. Just completely leaves Amy without a word. Just like Ollie's outie. <laughs> The deeper theme of this of this series is just an endless chain of people. Um, I'm finished. Chaos was defeated, and now my egg carrier is ruined. No matter. I will destroy Station Square anyway. Just an endless chain of people being unpleasant to the one person they can pick on. Sonic thinks he's better than everyone. Tails thinks he's better than Amy. Amy thinks she's better than... Cream, I guess, probably. I'm not sure I can even name another main series Sonic character. If that missile is launched, you ready? Fire! Oh, he's got one leftover bomb. Lovely. <laughs> it's the one of the world's slowest ICBM. Tails, you could have stopped that. You're just letting it happen. Sonic would have stopped that missile. You know that, right? Don't you? Don't you, Tails? You know that that would that Sonic could have stopped that from happening, oh, and you didn't. No, it was a dud. Ah, oh, look, I lucky. We all survived because of luck. Fantastic. I'll go and deal with this myself. Oh no! <laughs> that missile before he detonates it. Great. Finally, time to take the initiative. Please tell me I get a cool sprinting through the city level now. I see it. Well, we don't know that he's going to set it off while standing next to it. Perhaps he'll just start a timer and leave. The fate of Station Square depends on me. Oh, Sonic. Delusions of grandeur now. I've changed a lot since I've started hanging with Sonic. But yeah. I can't depend on him forever. Hmm, interesting. I've changed a lot since I started hanging out I with know Sonic. I, can do this by myself. Okay, Eggman, bring it on. I think we've all changed a lot since we started hanging out with Sonic. I know I have. You think you can keep up with me? I love the way he bobbles He's along. <laughs> his charming his charming little Scooty Puff Jr. style, you know, like Jetsons. Uh, Jetson's hoverbike. Oh, that's gonna happen a bunch. I mean, it's clearly Sonic's good influence that, that Tails is being encouraged to go from uh, a dweeb who never does anything to uh, attempting to stop a man from detonating an enormous goddamn bomb, but... I, I can't help but read that as being like, I've changed a lot since I started hanging out with Sonic. I've lost all my confidence. I haven't made any new friends, etc, etc. You know, like, to what extent is Sonic kind of an asshole? This has never, never once worked. I've run across this thing five times now and not once has the, uh, has the gravity change been affected properly. This game is coded so badly. It's deeply charming to me. This is also like number 10 on the big list of games that can give people severe migraines, I think. Being able to fly would make platforming easier. Not when you're bad at things. I've got you now, Tails. Huh, interesting. Abrupt uh, abrupt cessation of uh, 
What's the word? Uh, velocity. I am really looking forward to getting into the sequel, though, to the to the space station levels where there's just. Oh, okay. Touching Eggman bad. Good to know. I'm surprised Eggman even knows Tails' name. Like, I suppose it must be the scientists thing. All scientists know each other, therefore. Because it's sure as hell, like, nonsensical given the whole... Uh, nobody knows who Tails is, everybody knows Sonic. Tails' is inferiority complex, etc. that we've been talking about all this time. Is it still canon that Sonic has his powers because of magic shoes? Or is that something else they changed? Uh oh. Because it definitely used to be canon. Back long ago in the before times. That has been canon. That absolutely used to be canon once. And I'm not joking. It is. It was. It was canon. I, I swear to God. Tails, wait for me. I've got you now. Tails, wait for me. Together, Tails, we'll detonate the bomb and join join one another in glorious hellfire. But like for real, I think in some of the very earliest comics. He was he 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 had magic shoes that were what let him go fast, or maybe science shoes. I'm not sure. You know, it's hard to tell the difference between magic and science, as noted noted thinker Isaac Asimov once said. I'm pretty sure that's that quote. That how that's that quote goes. How that's that? Oh god, I'm literally losing my faculties of speech as as we speak. Can't wait for that neurologist appointment. Bimbi bom bim boo. Bombity bim bim bong. You know, now that I think about it, this level kind of reminds me of um, the like track design in certain snowboarding games, like SSX3, where there's a main path, but there's also really extensive and like weird side paths that can go to all kinds of different places. It's still not really true to the, the 2D Sonic platforming though, which is been a consistent complaint I've been making. Oh boy. I guess I accept my you fate. Think you can keep up with me. Tails, wait for me. <laughs> that's that's not going to get tired. I'm not going to get tired of that. You think you can wait keep up with me? Wait, wait for me. Please don't leave me alone, Tails. I don't want to die alone. Well, it just goes to show, you can take the egg out of the man, but you can't take the man out of the egg. Yeah, you presented the city from being destroyed in a blast of hellfire. Oh, no! Rank C. So you beat me to the missile, you little pest. I will make you all pay for this. And I'm going to do it from space. Huh, it's froggy. You fool. Oh hey. Before I make mince meat out of you. Oh hey, the first scared. actually menacing intonation of a line. I can do this. <laughs> Tails channeling that one drill tweet that's like, I'm not owned, I'm not owned, I say, sobbing as I sink further into the swamp. Get a load of this. No way. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. I love it. How do I actually? How do I actually like bop him on the noggin? How do I actually deal with this guy? Because a, a good old noggin bop is the traditional way of dealing with a Robotnik. Get a load of this. No way. Oh, I need to hit his four legs, right? Well, one leg makes it fall down. Uh. 
Aha! You see? Fucking Jess coming in with the... Oh, actually, I try not to say people's real names on this channel. My old school buddy coming in with the, the last minute clutch save. I knew, I knew there was something about magic trainers. And I think that means I'm officially better at Sonic lore than you, Icarus. You're going to have to accept that now. There we go. Oh, you do just bop him on the head. That's all. That's the solution. That's always the solution to an Eggman. Egg of man, man of egg. Get a load of this. Get a load of this. I haven't missed get a load of this. I'll tell you that much. Get a load of this. Get a load of this. No way! I can't believe this. Ah. Well, that's still sort of magic special shoes. Shoes that let you train to be the fastest hedgehog in the world still, are still better than just ordinary shoes. I think you'll find. Ask any hedgehog. Not Sonic, though, because he'll just be like, oh, I've always been this fast. Won't be true, though. If this game has proven anything, it's that that boy cannot remember a single goddamn thing that's ever happened to him in his entire life, especially considering he seems to have taken... Several of Tails' successes from this telling, and uh, and declared them to be his own victories over the Robotnik Man. Do I have to hit three now? What is special about them if they are not magic and do not make him fast? The special thing about Sonic the Hedgehog is that he is the fast hedgehog. And the, the reason he can hurt people is with his hedgehog spikes. You know, riddle me this. Okay, but doesn't that mean that's what made it made him fast? If he's only fast because he trained on the special machine with the special shoes. Follow me here. You saved the day! You're the best! Oh my god, there's actually a black character in this? Astonishing. I'm starting to think I'd never see anyone other than an, Im an implicitly Japanese person, I suppose, across the board. Although, I, maybe they're supposed to be Americans and therefore all white, apart from the one black kid, I guess? I don't know. Anyway, more diversity in games, even if they're from 2001. That was a pretty good high five, though, I'll give him that. Oh, does this mean we have to sit through the whole credits all over again? I bet I can skip him. Time for a cool cutscene and a character explaining song. Is there dialogue that's supposed to be happening in this scene, or is the character singing along to their own anthem? Just as the like, like the drop happens, just as the really good bit of the song ki kicks in, boom. Yeah, I know, first tried it this time, unlike, unlike Sonic, where I just failed a whole bunch. In a semi-bugged thingamajig. I am actually going to try and skip the credits, it. It ain't letting me. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna have to sit through all this another four times before we're finished, I think. Although I've heard that Big the Cat's story is very short, so there's no reason to assume that because it took eight hours to get through Sonic, they're all gonna take eight hours to get through. I'll tell you what, though, I'm looking forward to playing as the robot, not just because of the kind of emotional synergy between myself and my fellow automata, but... Uh, because I have no idea who the fuck he is. All of the rest of these characters, except for Biggs the Cat, and no one no one cares about Big the Cat, uh, show up in the sequel.
It is the most 2004 soundscape imaginable, though. I'm sure Big is in the sequel in a tiny little cameo. He's not exactly a playable character. Isn't he like in the skybox somewhere? His inclusion in this game feels really peculiar to me, actually, because we've got all of these iconic characters people are familiar with. Sonic from such popular games as Sonic and all of the Sonic games, and Tails, popular character from all of the Sonic games except for Sonic 1, pretty much. And Knuckles, popular character from all of the Sonic games except Sonic 1 and 2, unless you happen to have the unfolding uh, Sega Mega Drive cartridge with an open top that you could plug Sonic 2 into, which would blend the games together in a way I'm still not sure is entirely non-magical, allowing you to play through the first game as Knuckles. Which is a remarkable thing to exist and absolutely delights me, but also sounds like a fake idea. Um, anyway, yeah, and then, you know, Amy, who was in Sonic CD, the most, like, beloved of the original 2D Sonic games. And Ed, Ed, Ed something or other, the robot from this game. New character. Interesting. And there's also a fat cat. Oh, you've actually got one. That's really cool. I only have Sonic Gems Collection for the for the, the PlayStation 2. Although I had Sonic Mega Collection on my GameCube. My beloved GameCube that my brother betrayed and murdered? That's not how it goes. I can't believe these credits are unskippable. Oh my god. They're going to make me see these another four times before I'm done. Oh, uh, Rick, actually, no, I've just noticed the mention of soap shoes. Sonic's shoes in this game are not soap shoes. It's only the shoes in um, Sonic Adventure 2 that are soap shoes because they had a because they had a, a marketing deal with soap and also they wanted grinding mechanics. Soap shoes are a fascinating idea to me. Imagine if you could grind on rails like if you were riding on a skateboard, but only with your real actual shoes that you also run around in the rest of the time. It's astonishing that there weren't more like serious lawsuits in the <laughs> in the mid two thousands for all the random bullshit they got teenagers to do. Yeah, you aren't familiar with soap shoes. Essentially, soap shoes were shoes with a plastic, a concave plastic plate in the center of the sole, um, and uh, if you 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 know if you wax them correctly, just like you wax a skateboard correctly. Um, you could grind down rails exactly the same way you could grind with a skateboard, except just with your shoe shoes. They did not catch on, but they were popular enough, briefly enough, to be featured uh, in Sonic Adventure 2, since Sonic's shoes are soap shoes, and he does a lot of grinding, and it's one of the more fun mechanics in that videoed game. All right, time to dive back in. I'm just gonna work my way round the circle in, in process, so it's gonna be a while before we see Amy, I guess. All right. Time for time for general fuck up and dopey guy who doesn't seem to understand why he's the source of a lot of problems, Knuckles okay, the Echidna. Let's go. I actually really like Knuckles for all that I just shat all over him. I think he's a fun character, but it it is kind of his job to stop all the terrible things from happening and the terrible things tend to happen regardless of whether or not Knuckles is trying to stop them. He's also got a long history of being tricked into working for the bad guys, so, you know. As far back as I can remember, I've been living here on this dark island, always guarding the Master Emerald from anything that could harm it. Oh, hey, I actual don't know why exposition. I was this job, why it was my fate. Destined to be here forever. So implicitly, he doesn't remember being told to guard the emerald. It's just a natural drive. Wait, they were still making soap shoes at the what time the? Healy's became popular? That's insane to me. I shall have to look on YouTube later and see if there are any cool trick videos for soap shoes. Actually, I'm surprised there was never a PS1 Extreme Sports game for, uh, What's going on here? made primarily to market soap oh, no. shoes. Something's happened to the Master Emerald. 
Although I suppose you could argue that Sonic the Hedgehog Adventure 2 was that thing. Knuckles the Hedgehog bodied by a jelly candy. Actually, I've never made that comparison before, but Chaos does look delicious to me. What's happening to you? Come back here. Whoa, that was incredible. I've never seen anything like it. Oh no, it's starting to happen. Without the Master Emerald's <laughs> power, this whole island will fall into the ocean. All of the line deliveries in this game are delightful. Also, do we ever find out what's up with the magical fairy that keeps telling us things? Because we're that we're three stories, two stories down now, and I still don't know. Oh, so that's the Mystic Forest. It's up to me to find the missing pieces of the Master Emerald. Oh, interesting. It won't be easy. Pieces flew off everywhere. Fascinating. Guess I better start looking anywhere I can. Wait, are you kidding me? I, I predicted the fairy would be Tikal literally as soon as I started playing the first Sonic. And you told me I was wrong, didn't you? Maybe my brain damage is so severe that I just don't remember that properly. Did you see the shooting stars last night? They were brilliant. I wonder if any fell nearby. Should I look for one? There's a real optimism in this guy. You know, like, you look at this guy and you think, this is the most generic salary man I've ever seen. This man works in an office and goes home to his bored wife. And his, and his di son, from whom he's incredibly distant, just raising another generation of distant men. But then, you know, look at him. He's got the cocked leg. He's standing here in front of the most beautiful radioactive blue ocean. Like, that is full-on Sharon Cole radiation blue, my friends. And here he is, having a wonderful day. I need to get this guy's vibe in my life. Oh, hey, this cost. Interesting. Implicitly, Knuckles the Hedgehog is heavier. He's not a hedgehog, he's an echidna. Than, than the, the hedgehog or the baby fox. Because they... Oh, okay. Cars did not stop for anyone else. <laughs> oh, they just stop here naturally. Okay, that was actually a natural feature of the pavement I was standing on. Interesting, interesting. We learn so much by observing our environments in the world. Oh, Nux is pretty fast, I'll give him that much. He does not appear to be able to climb unnatural surfaces, though. His whole deal is that he can climb stuff, right? But I can't climb this. Well, we all know where this fellow goes. Sonic and Monster, nobody's allowed. Sonic and the monster fought by that barricade. Oh, that's... Aha, huh, that's the start of Sonic's thingamajig. I can't put this down. The same button that picks it up is the same button that talks to the man. There we go. Completely unconcerned. Oh shit, can I trap him? If I'm careful, can I... Can I... Can I enclose him? Can I enclose this common? Uh, Knuckles is... Sonic's special ability is that he's the fastest. Tails' special ability is that he can fly up, but runs out of stamina and falls down. Knuckles' ability is that he can glide pretty much forever, but he can't gain height. He can only glide from from the site from the height he can reach by jumping. Um, and if he hits into a surface, he's supposed to be able to climb up and down it with his his knuckle spikes. Supposedly, this is based on the fact that he is an echidna, but I don't know. I've never seen an echidna fly. I mean, I'm not Australian. Perhaps. Uh, perhaps the one of my followers who is Australian will show up to a stream one day and tell us. Anyway, this man is ignoring the return of his long-lost brother, and this is a real tragedy to observe, I think. Look at him, he's like, brother, it's been so long since I saw you. Refuses to see him, refuses to notice him even. Just, what a tragedy. The fuck even is this shop? They sell, they, they appear to sell coconut and clock and picture and booze and... Lunchbox and robot. Oh, that's a golden egg, not a coconut? Alright, well, you're gonna have to tell me what the deal is with the golden egg then, because I ain't never heard of a golden egg. 
Oh hey. Oh hey, he can shoot like... Oh, he's got combos. I admire their dedication to trying to get different mechanics into each of the characters' playstyles. I don't believe that they succeeded, really, but it is still fun. I, I, I didn't even know I could pick up the golden egg. I didn't even try. So much of the stuff in this game looks like static uh, environmental brushes. Like, it never occurred to me it might be a mobile object, because they usually aren't. Oh, this guy's uh, in the wrong position again. <gasps> it worked! I trapped him! <laughs> I'm a genius. <gasps> oh, Eggman has nothing on this. Oh, no, he solved my puzzle. Fuck. <laughs> He's escaped my saw trap. Huh. Well, now. Isn't that interesting? I appear to not be able to steal the egg. Can I put something else on here? Is this some Indiana Jones shit? I need to put something on there. Something of equal weight. I can't... Oh, there we go. I thought I couldn't pick it up. It's not gold, though. It's visibly green. Alright, let's see if we can Indiana Jones this. I'm, uh... Jones in for some Indiana, if you know what I mean. And if you do, please tell me, because I've got no fucking idea. This is never going to work if you keep clipping into objects, uh, sir, Mr. Mayor, whoever the hell you are. Well, whatever, you can sell your brother, it's fine. This does look like the kind of man who would sell his brother. Uh oh. <laughs> Oh, there we go. <laughs> He's laid an egg. Uh, I should probably get back to the plot, huh? What the hell was I doing? I do believe I was flying in a direction. Also, the prosperity of this city must be off the charts. Most of the cars are sports cars. Look at these lovely fucking classic vintage sports cars. I really miss this era of, like, cool car design. Uh, that's a rubbish ugly car, so we don't care about that. Where does his, where does his game start? Does he go straight to the casino, maybe? You there, fairy, answer my questions. Or don't, that's fine too. I'll ask the newspaper girl, she always tells me things. She also is refusing to talk to me. Let's see if there's any news. The paper says a mysterious meteor shower. Meteors to the north. It was so bright you could reach out and- Oh, right. I suppose we go to the mystical forest. The forest mystical. Oh, but the train station's closed. How terrible. Knuckles, you should be able to get into City Hall. Oh, I should, should I? Well, the man outside told me it was shut. What do you mean I'm supposed to go in there? I'm supposed to break city ordinances? I mean, they're clearly keeping me out for my own protection. Oh, yo, okay. This man does not care. This man does not care for your social mores. Oh, hell yeah, speed highway. <sighs> okay, so the origin of the... Uh, Can I smash this? Yeah, fuck the police. Oh, this slaps though, actually. I like this. I could just happily, quietly listen to this for a bit. This is actually- this, again, reminds me very heavily of the, uh various kind of dance remixes that you used to get for uh, various Sonic the Hedgehog songs on um, uh, on Newgrounds back when I was a tiny baby on the internet. Which none of you people know about because you're all so much younger than me except for those of you who aren't.
I wonder if this is the same zone as you can go to or th as the other characters, or if um, or if they've got like different versions of the same zone for different characters. Oh, huh, I'm nearly at a thingamajig. Aha. Uh -huh. That was easy. Anyway, I was assuming that the treasure hunt... Uh, I was assuming that the treasure hunt levels were an innovation for the sequel. In which they can be extremely tedious, but, you know. Uh, hmm, okay, give me two seconds, because it's so dark in this room I can barely see. enough of that I am back because I don't give up I don't quit I keep going through every setback I still keep working except on my YouTube channel hang on a second did I switch my mic on yes I did I didn't even need to check that um, except on my YouTube channel where I end up taking months long hiatuses that I really can't stand to take but I'm trapped into due to my terrible physical health but whatever whatever I'm not bitter shut up um, Anyway, yeah, Speed Highway, it slaps. And uh, I miss the old Newgrounds audio portal. Which still exists, and actually still has all of the old uh, music on it still available. I was really pleased to discover that last year. I went and I looked it up because I wanted to find some old uh, like ambient tracks I really liked. And there's just a whole ton of freely available cars hurtling towards you infinitely, forever. And that's what it's like to live under capitalism. Oh, the splash screen! Oh shit. I'm a fool. See, this is- this is why it's a <laughs> This is why it's a problem to A, try and be a streamer when you have, like, pretty bad ADHD, and B, uh, try and be a streamer when you have extensive brain damage from COVID. Um, I say extensive. I'm pretty sure there's a non-zero amount of COVID-related brain damage I've suffered. <laughs> Oh god. The really funny thing is, I looked down and I saw enjoying listening to you play and I was like, oh, thank you, that's so sweet. It's really nice to hear that. I always worry that I'm not doing a good job and that people aren't having a fun time and they're just just here out of obligation because they feel like they owe it to me in some way, you know, to support their friends. Um, but you know, yeah, it's really it's nice to really see that, that people care and enjoy the thing I'm making. Oh, hang on, oh fuck, oh shit. So that was that was my my chain of emotions that I experienced a moment ago. But yeah, um, if you go to the uh, the old to Newgrounds, you can actually get at, get at the the audio portal, and it actually still has all of the old uh, all of the all of the audio that's been posted and hasn't been you know manually deleted since God like two thousand and two, whenever it started, two thousand and one. Anyway, this is another reason, well, no, not that, but, like, my inability to remember to switch splash screens. Good enough. Good enough, yeah. I don't think I'm ever going to have to score higher than a C rank, but whatever. Um, what was I talking about? Uh, oh, yeah, no, I need to get around to actually putting a second screen on my desk so that I can watch my stream manager on uh, the good stream manager and not on my phone, as I am currently doing which would make life a lot easier for everyone in general, and me in particular. Let me in! All this, all this vaunted power and I can't do anything with it. No, 
Oh, interesting. I didn't think I would be able to threaten these people. I can't hurt them, but they don't seem to like it when I do that. You can go to the casino area at night time. Oh, I can? For real? Great. Isn't it only accessible via the train station, which seems to be locked up tight? Oh, invisible wall. Oh, can I get that through the hotel? Yeah, that, looks, that must be the other way, right? It's a hotel. Hmm. No I wonder what form the next level is going to take. Possibly it will involve a treasure hunt in a casino. Which, I mean, if you're going to hunt for treasure, a casino is probably the best place to do it. Generally speaking. I mean, the Mafia guys who own the place probably won't like it, but... Um, you know, they're not the boss of you, really. Is a treasure hunt in a casino meaningfully different from a heist? Give me two seconds. Everything's fine. Nothing to worry about. Everything's always fine forever. Boink. I do like the music in Knuckles' levels in this, but they don't seem to have the incredibly good um, like old-school hip-hop beats that uh, marked the uh, Knuckles levels in Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Which I cannot recommend highly enough. They're one of the highlights of that entire Vigima game. Which again, is not a good game, but is delightful and worth playing. Hmm. Well, this place sure is a migraine waiting to happen for somebody, isn't it? Oh, there's a whole ass pirate ship in here and I didn't even notice. You know, for ass pirates. <laughs> We have to make our own fun sometimes in Knuckles levels. Hmm. We have to be somewhat stuck. Well now here's a question for you lore heads out there. Is this a man? Is this a real human, like a human ass man? Or are there other roboticists like Robotnik out there? This or was way. that Robotnik security? Is Robotnik subcontracting to basically everybody? Or subcontracted, rather? Okay. So go in mouth is not option. Good to know. Oh, green for a second there. Good night. Have a have sweet dreams, acrylic spatter. You're a true and valued friend. Unlike this level, which is getting on my nerves already. You can give me all the cool power-ups you like, it's not gonna cheer me up if I can't find a gem. So there's definitely a green one around here somewhere. This way. Which, which way is that? Maybe they're all in side rooms and I'm just making a fool of myself by not looking in the side rooms. Aha! Perhaps... Nope. Nope, sure ain't back here. Does some of these assholes have it? Is it one of you? Does not appear to be. I'm actually going to go insane. I hate scavenger hunts as a rule because I don't like having to just look around until I rub stumble across something.
You there, fairy, help this me. Way. I've definitely also pointed over here. Maybe it's is it up on the corral? Am I not supposed to be able to climb this? I can't. Ooh. Well, I'm getting salty again. Charmed as I am by these games, and as often as I am happy to praise them, uh, I could do without this. Hmm. Can I steal the big coin? Like a Batman villain? Okay, but I keep using Tikal and she keeps pointing me into walls. Last time she sent me this way. And I've already been in here and it's 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 further away from what I'm looking for. Boink. I like that in the next one it actually gives you riddles. It tells you like mm, but nobody cares about the upper level. I can't even see any T-Cards up here. I get so many birds. Oh, can I go in these pipes? Or cannons, as they may in fact be? This way. Which way? This way. Also not super helpful. I'm sure people are watching this going like, you more- Oh hey, I've got one already? I didn't even notice. I'm sure people watching this being like, you moron, get upgrade your RAM in your brain because you're doing terribly, but like... But where? Give, give, please. Please give, Gem. Please. My children are starving. They can only survive on emeralds. The rare and valuable gemeralds. It's not my fault my brain ram got all terribly corrupted by vicious, terrible viruses that do awful things. I can't even find Tikal anymore. Where did she even go? Alright, come on. This way. Help me, fairy. This way. Which isn't up somewhere, I suppose. Do -do 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 -do. I like that I've dropped from five to two viewers just because I'm doing so terribly at this level. Cannot say I blame them. Oh, secret hole? Can I get down there? Also, what is making a popcorn machine noise? Because it's driving me insane. Anyway, what am I what am I still doing wrong, you who are so wise in the ways of science? was a floor switch next to the grate. Well, I tell you what, I'm not feeling great right now. I'm feeling a lot like Knuckles was a second ago when he was glitching out all over the place. I've only been streaming for like an hour and ten minutes. This is terrible. My capacities are in the toilet. Alright, let's see what's in here. Wherever that ceiling grate was. I knew I should have picked Thief to stream. Now, how did I miss that? It's right there. I swear I looked at it and I didn't even see it. Oh, that's better than nothing. I'll take it. Ah, so that's what this one was. Okay, well that at least solves one mystery and leaves one mystery remaining. Namely, where the fuck is the remaining Gemerald? 
I know they're randomized in the sequel. I assume they're randomized in this one too. Or someone will probably just have told me by now where the last one was. Um, let's see. I wish I could. I wish I could point the camera up or down. That would make my life a lot easier. It's gonna have something to do with the pirate ships, right? Why would you put pirate ships in here and not have them be involved in the puzzle? I hope it's not all gonna be like this. It's just gonna be like this forever. Aha! Of course, the toilets. I should have known. Where else would anyone hide a gemerald? And no, I'm not getting tired of the word gemerald, which I did just make up. Huh. Good enough. Huh. I guess that's acceptable. I wish just once they'd tell me, like, wow, you did terribly. Where in the world am I? Why, it doesn't look familiar? I don't remember being here before. <laughs> I guess not. But something about it is familiar. Ah, so I it does seem familiar. Mm. Okay. This is very strange. You're telling me. So I guess this is probably my opportunity to explore ancient uh Ancient Echidnopolis, let's call it, because that's probably what they called it in the comic books. You have no idea what fighting is all about. You just attack. I mean, yeah. Just watch, I'll get them all. Good offense is the best defense. I'm sensing some varieties of opinion here. Our tribe has lived with war for a long time. Wars have made us rich. Gee, that sounds like colonialism. But the chief's daughter doesn't agree with us. What can we do? So the chief's daughter wants you to stop picking on other places and plundering all their wealth. Hmm. Actually, huh. Hmm. Well, no, actually, I was going to say I was uncomfortable with uh, a clearly, like, native in, like, like, native populist peoples, whatever the terms are, themed group being aligned as some kind of colonial, colonial entity. But, I mean, these are clearly, like, Mesoamerican and there were a lot of, like... To call the seven emeralds are essential to our survival. Like it's a key part of the history of like Central America, of Central America. How can I make you understand? Attacking other countries, stealing and killing can't be the right path to peace. <laughs> no one has the right to take their holy grounds. I beg you, Father. Fascinating. So what element of the history uh -huh. of this person caused now her to suspect that all of the tenets of her society are in fact bullshit? Back in Station Square, I see. What's going on here anyway? Oh, there's Cream the Rabbit again, the world's most unfortunately named Sonic the Hedgehog character. And yeah, like, the, the chat delay makes it See, it makes it less clear, but like, okay, yeah, no, I realized as I was saying it and then was like, yeah, no, that's like, yeah, absolutely, like the Aztec Empire and various other Mesoamerican cultures uh, had lots of histories of, you know, warfare and exploitation, just like, you know, just like the Danes sacking England, which actually was not too far apart in time due to pop culture. Ken's Playroom? Casino Ken? What? Are you kidding? How did I miss that every time? Ken's Playroom? That is way too, like, grody sounding a location. No thank you, I don't want to go play in Casino Ken's Playroom. Are you kidding me? Anyway, the point I was trying to make is just that, like, due to pop culture, one, ima one, one imagines these, the, the, Central American historical native empires as being a lot further back in history than they are, and it's interesting how that's like kind of occurred pop culturally over time, but you know. Tenohi clan was which I'm almost certainly pronouncing terribly wrong, but um was around about the same time as I think the founding of Oxford University in, in Britain. It's like a the year a thousand or something. Anyway, that's besides the point. Let's talk to this very sad looking hedgehog drumming his heels on the ground and his 
hedgehog, uh, his his fox friend who has the thousand yard stare of someone whose entire life has collapsed in front of them. Hmm. I wonder what those guys are doing. Uh, can they see me? Hmm. I wonder what those guys are doing. Weird. Okay, so this introduces hmm. another problem. I wonder what those guys are doing. Into the long chain of like weird Rashomon decisions. So, from Tails and Sonic's perspective. The first time they meet Knuckles in this adventure is when they have a boss fight with him in the, uh... Oh, this is a bug? They're supposed to have their eyes closed? Okay, but when I was playing through their story, I don't remember a time when they sat down and shut their eyes and there was the pitter-patter. Oh, the sleeping gas that I forgot about because it happened 15 hours ago. Fair enough, fair enough. Fair dues. I will give you that one. How the hell do you remember all this nonsense information, by the way? Also, you've got to admire... Oh my god, Eggman is staying at the same hotel as me? Dr. Eggman. What's he got there? It's got to be a part of the Master Emerald. Hold on! <laughs> Come back here! Knuckles just talking to himself out loud while the oblivious Eggman jo jogs forwards with his frictionless shoes. Also, Knuckles purports himself and seems to be the most competent and put together character in this entire like franchise. It, by rights, he should be the best character. He should be the, the guy who knows what's up and knows what's doing and is able to save the day and stuff. And at every turn, he is written as the guy who his like meathead friend is just better than without even trying due to general fuck upery. His, his meathead rival and his meathead rival's, like, four-year-old sidekick. Anyway, uh... Let me see if I can figure out where to go next, and then I'm probably going to call it a night. Even though it's not been a very long stream, just because I don't want to overdo it, because I'm, I'm extremely fragile and highly damaged. Uh, which probably means I'll never build much of an audience, but that's fine. Not really. Oh, he went Did up the elevator? The whole city? He went up the elevator, so he was going to go visit the Chows? Or are we going to go break into his hotel room, which seems like kind of a wild, uh, kind of a wild step up, if you ask me. I didn't know there were two elevators. Okay, we can't all have brains that work. I say to someone whose brain also does not work, no offense. Oh god, that's the race? I, I do not wish to participate in chow racing, which feels unethical to me. I'm going to put these fat babies in a line and make them race for my entertainment. Eggman, Damn, this is a classy- Classy restaurant. Oh, uh, this isn't what you're after. Why, it's only an ordinary emerald. Uh, you're right. <laughs> you can tell That's by the okay. color. I can use you as a guinea pig to test it. Chaos! Chaos! You know, human disqualified, I cannot say Chaos. that I had noticed that trend before, that but you're correct. Again. The same one I saw on my island. He was there when the Master Emerald shattered. I'm sure of it. He saved me the trouble of looking for him. Now I'll get him good. I'm gonna punch that guy made of water. <laughs> Way to go, Chaos! It makes me uncomfortable that Chaos has a magic brain floating in his matter. I feel like this thing's gonna kick my ass. Chaos 2. Is there a boss rush mode where you get to fight Chaos 1 through 8 or however many there are, one by one? I like his gloobity gloobity noises though. Boink. Alright. 
I currently have no idea how to hurt it, which is what I shall, I suppose, accept. Well, I feel like there should be a boss rush mode. Hmm. It appears to have some kind of shield. Normally I don't appreciate backseat gaming, but this game... It has some design problems which I've mentioned many times over the course of these streams that I'm not going to get back into. Uh huh, when's he off guard? But uh, yeah, this game is frequently so obtuse that I, I don't really... it doesn't really bother me when people are like... Do this, do that. When is he off guard? He does not seem to ever be off guard. He rotates... He rotates perfectly as I run around him, so I can't get behind him. Oh, there we go. I don't know why that was meaningfully different of a punch. Uh, I know there's a secret final boss that's like the, the perfect chaos form or whatever, but... Oh boy, I sure wish I had some rings. But yeah, I'm surprised there isn't a, a, a secret boss rush where you get to just fight uh, all the forms one after another. Literally, what defines him being being off guard? Like, I don't know what made that viable to be hit, as opposed to the other one. Also, god damn, I wish my downstairs neighbours would sw stop smoking like chimneys. It was fine for, like, first year we were here, and then just recently they've started smoking really heavily, and it smells like cigarette smoke all the time, and it drives me insane, because I hate it, and also my lungs are broken. Bubbles of water. Now, which small bubbles of water is she talking about exactly? Because it ain't that one. Is that all you've got? <laughs> Is that all you've got, he says, having been slapped so hard he ended up in a cutscene. Da 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 dun 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 Bah! So what if you won this time? Bah! You have yet to see the true powers of chaos. Yeah, yeah, that still doesn't phase me. You hear? I know something that might. It's about Sonic. What? What about Sonic? He's after the pieces of the Master Emerald too. Oh, don't fall for this again. What do you mean? Every time? Are you kidding me? You're not the only one on a wild goose chase, idiot. Why should I ruin your surprise? <laughs> I like the lit animation on the feet here. It's very... Making my way downtown. <laughs> I wonder what he meant by that. I'd better find Sonic. So, really all it takes to have Knuckles do your dirty work for you is to tell him that someone is out for the I Master Emerald. Sonic is after the Master and Emerald. he just takes everything everyone says at face value. I better work fast and get to the bottom of this. This isn't even the first time Eggman has lied to him about Sonic trying to do a bad thing. 
that he needs to stop while Eggman was secretly also doing the bad thing or actually doing a bad thing. This is such a consistent character trait, which is weird because Sonic's the one who's a meathead. Like, Knuckles seems to be pretty consistently characterized as, like, the competent guy. But then despite being the competent guy, he will just completely and instantaneously believe anyone who tells him that someone, somewhere, is a threat to the Master General. Also, is he supposed to look out for the Master Emerald or the Emeralds in general? Because, like, for some reason I thought he was supposed to look out for the Gemeralds in, in Emerald. I'm fucking losing it. <laughs> fucking out of it like god damn um tell you what i am going to yeah actually i suppose if you do grow up on a island in the middle of nowhere with no actual uh like other human i say humans other people around then uh it makes sense that you would maybe not know that lies are a thing but you think after eggman lied to him the first time he would be suspicious both of eggman and of lies Anyway, I've now opened the window to let the god-awful fucking stonky tobacco smoke of my neighbours out and some fresh air in because I suspect it is actually making me nauseous. And you may be thinking, how do you not know if it's making you nauseous? And I've just realised I made the same mistake again. I did tell everybody, didn't I? Anyway, at least I caught it this time. Uh, so I guess it's a bit rich for me to be like, Knuckles, you fucking dumbass. How do you make this mistake over and over and over? as I myself make the same mistakes over and over and over. In fact, are we not all tied up in our hubris ultimately as we make the same mistakes over and over and over? I guess Knuckles is a fool me once, shame on, uh, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on you also, fool me three times, I won't let that one happen, <laughs> kind of guy. So when Sonic comes to visit the, the Master Emerald, it's re it's all repaired and good. So I guess all of Knuckles' storyline happens before that. He can get a lot of airtime if he if he gets a big enough jump at the start. Oh, I can just climb over this, right? I should just be able to just. Okay, I'm never gonna get the. What, what surfaces can I and can I not climb on, please? Video game. This is why they started introducing very clear iconography in the future of uh, gaming design. Oh really? That's neat. I remember visiting the Master Emerald the first time it was available to visit though, and it was definitely not busted. The train headed for As in, in Sonic Story. What am I even doing? Is Sonic around? Isn't he over here? In Sonic's story, I just ran into them over here and then we had a terrible tense confrontation where I, where he instantaneously slew Knuckles. <coughs> oh god, excuse me. Oh god, I don't want to have to go downstairs and actually talk to them like, hey, you're incredible, incredibly... Um, irresponsible, extensive tobacco over-smoking is like, it comes up through the floorboards and it's literally making me sick because I have busted up lungs. Come on, guys. Because, um, I've already had bad interactions with the people who live downstairs, uh, who are capable of being pretty bitchy. So the most, the single most passive-aggressive thing that anyone's ever said to me was said to me by the people downstairs. You've got the shovel claw. Now you can dig through dirt and stone. Press the jump and action buttons simultaneously. Having said that, I hope they can't hear me. Jump and action? Jump and action simultaneously. There we go. Oh, I found a ring. It's cool that this stuff is just all over the place. Kind of arbitrarily. Hell yeah! The button was pressed, but nothing happened. I guess I have to come back as Amy? Oh, this door's locked now. Huh. Maybe if I try and dig on the button? Oh! Huh. Oh, 
Okay. I, I, I can pick it up? Strange. Monkey destruction switch. How peculiar. What a strange idea. What an odd thing to do and or exist. Like, whose idea was this? Why was this put in the game? What purpose does this serve? It's such an odd little puzzle, and it presumably isn't a mechanic that will be repeated, although, who knows, maybe it will be. Alright, well maybe Sonic and Pals are back now. Sonic Hedgehog, are you here? No. No Hedgehog, no Sonic. Tikala Kidna, are you here? Will you tell me where I need to go next? Yes. Use the self-destruction switch to get rid of that monkey. I already did. Get off my back. Maybe I need to do it to the other monkey. Is it a reusable self-destruction switch? Why does it work like that? Hmm. <laughs> doesn't seem to be here. Maybe there's another another diggy hole and another monkey. Yeah, I get that it forces you to use the dig you just got, but I don't... I'm not complaining about digging up the... Well, I am complaining about digging up the monkey destruction switch, I'm... but I'm also complaining about the function of the digi monkey destruction switch in and of itself. Not least because it destroys a monkey, which nobody should ever really do, let's be honest. It's completely inappropriate behaviour, but... But also because, like... What? Like, why? How? Oh, but I, I already went back and dug again and it didn't- nothing popped up. I've al I, I already went back after destroying the monkey and tried to diggy diggy and it- and it just gave me nothing. No- no- no switch. No monkey. Alright, let's see what happens. I see, okay. Oh, it was a clever trick to make me look stupid. I don't know how people got through these, this game without uh, a walkthrough. I'll be real with you. Where was the monkey? I think it was this way. Good to know I can take it through level transitions. I don't believe it's the case with many other things. Actually, no, it must be because I can take the switch to this door. Not the switch, the key, the ice key. One of the two elements that exist in this system of natural philosophy, both ice and green. Hey, could you hold on to this for a sec? Thanks. Yeah, you see, it took many hours of wandering around. That's not a good thing. Are sometimes found underground. Try digging for them. That is, in my opinion, bad design. This is a lot like the, uh... Uh... The, like, haunted pumpkin forest zone from Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Or Sonic Adventure 2, also. Hmm... to be close. Aha! How close do I have to be? Oh! <laughs> this close. Exactly this close. Yeah, Pumpkin Hill. Pumpkin Hill. Pumpkin Hill slaps. It's great. Pumpkin Hill absolutely kicks ass. One of my favourite bits of that game. Boink. Alright, that's two down. One remains. This way. Wait, which way? Show me. Ah, oh, I missed it. Fuck. Oh well. Could have been worse. Somehow. Probably. What damn monkey. I assume I have to dig for it. I might be wrong. Oh, okay, I didn't actually need to dig for any of them. Interesting. Oh, I remember that in Time Splitters. I loved that game. <laughs> Good enough. Oh yeah, like in terms of, you know, asset reuse, this game is an absolute triumph. 
it, it just also has a lot of other problems that are not related to asset reuse. But yeah, um, it sounds kind of bad when you say I used to cover you in landmines and make you run to the enemy. Um, but you know, like, we would both, I'm pretty sure we both were the one who runs and explodes sometimes. It's a valid tactic under the way that that game works. Alright, time to, time to go kick Sonic's ass, even though he will only ever remember it as him kicking my ass. You know, a less brave game would not have gone for this sort of like weird House of Leaves, Rashomon, everyone remembers it differently, how do you know which one's the real one? You don't, and you will never know, kind of vibe, and would simply have it be that if you're playing as Sonic, you know, you win the fight, and if you're playing as Knuckles, you play the boss fight, win the boss fight, and then in the cutscene after the boss fight, Sonic defeats you. I mean, Eggman was right that Sonic is that around. It looks like a piece of the Master Emerald. He has no right to have that. Oh, come on, buddy. Just absolute hey, credulity. Nice. Instantaneously. I'm gonna kick your ass, Sonic, because you're near a green object. What do you think you're doing? All right. Put him up. Hand over the emerald now. That's not gonna happen, buddy. You know, a lot of these people's problems would be solved if they literally said one additional line of information. Like every time, every time they start fighting, all they have to do is say one additional word. Like, oh no. And that probably I've should not be, enough. oh no, or I've had enough. All right, I heard enough of the dumb baby town slap fight. <laughs> how do I actually hit him? He keeps doing the, he keeps surviving my punches. And that's all I know how to do as Knuckles. I'm just gonna leave. I can't seem to, oh, no. there we go. Oh jeez! Oh no, the Chaos Emerald! <laughs> Just as I planned, I knew that Sonic would happen to have the green gem exactly when I needed it. That's all there is to it. You guys are too easy. That's a Chaos Emerald. First come, first serve, they say. And you serve me too well for your own good. <laughs> you can't get away with this. Knuckles, did you let him trick you again? <coughs> like you weren't. Smooth move, Knucklehead. Well, at least they... Uh, <laughs> at least they know what's up. Now. Here, Chaos. You don't need to have an IQ of 200 to point at one guy and say to another guy, hey, that guy said you're an asshole. What are you going to do about it? Like, people have been pulling that trick since like 200 BC, you know. No problem. I'll make him eat dirt. But this really does ring true, the ultimate underlying theme that everyone believes they're the hero of their own story. Because everyone remembers fighting chaos. <laughs> Even though they also remember themselves as the only one to fight chaos. I like to imagine them all sitting together at the cafe or whatever another few years from now, like... Ah, remember that time where I, where I kicked the shit out of an ancient deity and saved the world? What do you mean? I kicked the shit out of the ancient deity and saved the world. What are you talking about? I'm the one who did all of the fighting to beat chaos. Etc. 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 And then Eggman is also sitting there, and he's like, "How did you guys beat me every time?" Like, it speaks worse of me than it does of you, frankly. Well, 
Well, yeah, this game is called Sonic Adventure, so why does everyone else remember themselves doing the Sonic thing? Like, I think that the uh, I think the way the sequel handles it, where all of the stories blend together, but like you get different, um, you know, the different characters are doing the different things that suit their own particular goals and personalities, rather than everyone doing the same thing, um, and then having this sort of like. Crisis on Infinite Earths type type situation where we where everybody everything is true simultaneously, especially the stuff that's contradictory. Hey, goddamn giant fish! It's probably a more efficient way of dealing with this guy. Ha 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 ha! It's funny because he's like a fish. Can I even hit him? I can't seem to like land land a hit on him anymore. Ah, beans. Did I die? <laughs> Fuck, I have to do it over again. Oh, God. When Chaos sticks his head out, it's your chance to attack. Oh, when he sticks his head out, I see. Tell me, which bit of that thing is a head? Because I can't meaningfully tell the difference between the times when I am allowed to hit him and the times I aren't allowed to hit him. Oh boy. I'll say this for him, at least at least Knuckles doesn't go Sonic. Which I find which I found quite irritating. Knuckles needs a sidekick. Knuckles needs someone to go, Knuckles! Actually, unrelatedly, I now find myself wondering how popular is like Silver the Hedgehog as to like the the fandom of the game? Because from what I've understood, the three D Sonics past these two games have been pretty universally reviled, especially Sonic two thousand and six, which I believe is the origin of Silver the Hedgehog with the psychic powers. But you see a lot of Silver the Hedgehogs is in like fan art, or at least I peripherally do, based on like random ass stuff on Tumblr. Oh, come on, that's bullshit. Yeah, see, that's what I'm curious about. Why is that? How did that happen? I guess, you know, psychic powers and a, a personality type that hasn't necessarily been explored by the many other characters in the canon. Boo, boo on chaos. Silver a little bit feels like someone's Sonic the Hedgehog a uh, OC got like a visual complexity downgrade and then just got included in a Sonic the Hedgehog game. Because he's like Sonic the Hedgehog except he's got psychic powers. Uh, which I guess are one of the many things in the kitchen sink fantasy of this game, uh, this setting. Does the princess in Sonic 06 ever come back? And what is the basis for having a princess in the same world as uh, the talking animal people and a vaguely New Yorkish city? Um, but, but that are still in the same canon, apparently. Like, is there time travel? Does Sonic get isekai Like, what's the deal? Also, I, I deeply, deeply love that the uh, that the word isekai has entered the general vocabulary as a as like a verb now. I do find the history of the isekai genre quite interesting because it was so dead for so long, and then when it was revived, it was revived in a hyper specific format and has just become such 
such a vastly like oversaturated like genre in the medium. And not only is it massively oversaturated, it's oversaturated while also uh, borrowing like the same hyper specific hyper like like hyper specific details across the board. Anyway, but that's completely irrelevant to Sonic the Hedgehog, or indeed Knuckles the Echidna, who frankly should have got his own game at some point. Is that all you've got? Shadow the Hedgehog got his own game. Why doesn't Knuckles get his own game? He's like a fan favorite. Oh hey, it's the bit from the opening cutscene. Egg carrier, carrier. That's not how that song goes, actually. One day I'll learn how to sing. And then I only have to learn how to remember lyrics, which I'll never be able to do because of my mental problems. <laughs> my creation, the egg carrier. Beware. Chaos's true power is yet to be unleashed. <laughs> we shall meet again! See, I haven't played Sonic Unleashed, but also, I love the idea of... <laughs> this is my egg carrier! It carries, and I'm the egg! As he disappears off into the sky, Hurry, Sonic. like a bubble. What are we waiting for? My workshop's closed, so let's get the tornado and go after him! Good idea! Hey, Sonic! You go on ahead without me. I have some things I need to take care of. No problem, Knuckles. We'll take care of everything here. I love Let's the move. I love the subtle manipulation here, where Knuckles <laughs> runs on the spot due to a bugged animation. Um, I love I love the subtle manipulation here, where Knuckles implies that he has done literally anything to help, uh, and is in any way actually a part of the team. Um, while just going off and doing his own thing and pursuing his own goals, which are completely unrelated to those of everybody else. Um, but yeah, no, I agree with your hot take, even though I haven't played that game, because it sounds founded based on the two-line description you just gave me. Hey Knuckles, whatever happened to your unfinished business? I finished it, dipshit. We'd better go after the egg carrier. Yeah, you should probably get on that. Why are you chilling? Go be in a go be in a a tornado and go get shot down again. I wonder where I'm supposed to head next for the purposes of stuff finding. Hey, you, where do I go next? Be my fairy. Ah, oh, the jungle. Where the hell was the jungle? Wasn't the jungle through that hole? Because I think this was... Well, that's part of the course. Time to go and see what's on the other side of this mysterious hole in the wall. Ah shit, I've just realised I could have like... Oh, you take the minecart? Right, right, because Sonic unlocks the minecart, but there's no reason that Knuckles can't use it, I guess. Uh, but yeah, no, um, I had a... I'm really disappointed that I've played this game for many hours now, and I have yet... Headed for Station Square will be departing soon. And I have yet to find a single opportunity to use the amazing pun Yonic the Hedgehog. It's such a good joke, and yet, not a single, there's nothing to attach it to. Not a single Yonic thing in this entire game so far, apart from the occasional holes we drive minecarts into. Which could be described as Yonic, but it's pushing it a bit. Ah, the jungle. So this jungle is presumably the jungle on the Magic Island, right? Along with the temple and stuff. Because the explorers are exploring this place because it just arrived, like it just collapsed onto the world. Aha! What's this? It's a magic temple. Why? I don't know what I expected. Boink. Two stone statues. The door to the past. Oh god, I need to go find two stone statues in order to open a door to the past. 
fascinating. Also, for some reason, his movement is really busted here. I don't know why, but it's completely fucked. Uh, there are invisible walls just, like, kind of everywhere, but, like, weirdly applied in midair and stuff. And he keeps changing vector slightly and juddering around. I don't know what's up with it. Hmm, seems like a guy who likes fishing probably lives here. Like, the surface vectors for running uphill just don't work half the time. You, like, you just kind of, like bump into things and rotate and stuff and then you stop and you lose all your momentum periodically. It's very strange. I also have no idea what I'm looking for beyond a statue of some kind. I've been in the jungle for months. <laughs> I left my wife back in Station Square. I miss her terribly. Okay. Okay, hang on. Okay, hang on. Buddy, you just blew this wide open. Are you kidding me? Months? I thought this game, game took place over the course of like an afternoon. Are you telling me? Are you telling me that this game takes place over months? Because these explorers only came here. This is on Angel Island, and the explorers only came here in response to the island dropping. This is astonishing. This is genuinely, this is like... Blown my mind into a different dimension. I'm like, what? I'm also incredibly frustrated by the difficulty of traversing this landscape, but there's not much I can do about that. Okay, well, you can call it a mistranslation if you like, but it's, um... There's, so, <laughs> in my recent streams, I haven't really gotten into the studi, like, literary interpretation, critical analysis stuff that I get into on my YouTube channel, which I now realise I forgot to talk about when there were more people watching, but whatever. Um, but we actually have to take the work as it's presented to us sometimes. And the work as it is presented to us makes the statement that this takes place over the course of a couple months. And it can be a translation error, sure. But, you know, these works of art are created by hundreds of people working in concert. Or at least tens. And um, unlike a book, where mistranslations and so on don't really become necessarily a part of the narrative or whatever, um, you kind of have to take that in, in the context of a game as, as some kind of a truth. Um, so, I'm definitely going to choose to take that, because you can always go back to the original source and say this thing is actually that thing, you know, if you actually translate it correctly, but, and sure, maybe it is in the original work of art, but the Japanese version is, by definition, a different work of art, a very similar work of art, the one upon which this one is based. But they're not the same, but they're, they're not the same. They are separate entities. The inflection and character of the different things people say is is math is important. It matters. Is that big big the cats thing over there? I bet it is. I also have straight up no clue where I'm supposed to find these goddamn things. If I were a giant temple, I simply would not store the magic statues nearby. You know where it might be convenient. Oh, I might want to look up where they are. Oh, that's terrifying. Um, I'm not going to look up where they are now. I am going to call this the end of today's stream because my throat hurts, possibly because I've been talking in a way I haven't been talking very much lately, and possibly because also... Why can't I get back through that hole? Uh, possibly also because of my neighbor's terrible smoking habits. So I think I'll just climb back the fuck up here. Yeah, see, this is just terrible design. A key hunt in a maze is already incredibly frustrating. Doing it in one just, just looks the same no matter what is awful. Like, that's a, that's a bad idea. Don't do that. That gets you a caning from your, from your, from your game design master. Um, which is a reference to British public school tradition, which I make mockingly. Um, yeah, you are very apologetic to this game's many flaws. I'm I'm perfectly happy to say this game is absolute trash, and I but I enjoy it because I still enjoy what it is, and sometimes I enjoy terrible games. But um, yeah. Anyway, so that's going to be all from me for today. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to my Patreon patrons and my Kofi donators. Uh, I love you all very much. 
This is me, Soul Critical Automaton, signing off. Go check out my YouTube channel if you're watching this and you haven't already, although I don't imagine that you are. And I stream regularly. Go check out my About page for all of my everything, and I announce my streams on a Discord, which you can get from the About page as well. This anyway, that's gives me the strangest feeling. all from me. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.